Do you like Spider-Man movies? If you like Spider-Man, which character do you like? Is it Tobey Maguire from the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, Andrew Garfield from The Amazing Spider-Man, or Tom Holland from The MCU Spider-Man? However, this story is not to compare who is the best, but rather to tell the origin of how these three Peter Parker characters appeared in the Spider-Man universe. Focus when watching. Don't skip the story because this recap will provide an explanation of how the universe in the Spider-Man world works. At the beginning of the film, set in 1973, we are introduced to a woman named Constance Webb and her hired bodyguard, Ezekiel Sims. They are on an expedition in the Amazon rainforest to find a rare spider species that can cure various diseases. In their conversation, Ezekiel says that, according to legend, besides curing diseases, the spider's venom can give human superpowers. However, Constance says that she is interested in something other than the myths and legends told by the locals. Constance, who is heavily pregnant, continues to push herself to find the spider. Meanwhile, Ezekiel returns to the tent and tries to steal their research files. Not long after, somehow, Constance finally finds the spider. However, suddenly, Ezekiel kills two other researchers and takes the spider from Constance, leaving her critically injured. The Arana tribe in the Amazon rainforest, who are humans with spider-like powers that protect the forest, suddenly arrive and take her. In this film's story, the Arana tribe can already do things like Spider-Man but they cannot shoot webs. After being taken into a cave, they perform a ritual on Constance by injecting spider venom into her body. Shortly after, the baby in her womb is mysteriously born, but unfortunately, Constance's life cannot be saved. Decades later, in 2003, the baby has now grown into a beautiful woman named Cassandra. She works as a medical officer in New York City. At that time, Cassie and her colleague named Ben Parker are seen in a hurry to take their patient to the hospital. Yes, this is Uncle Ben and his youth, the uncle of Peter Parker, the Spider-Man we know. After completing their task, Cassie is approached by a small child who gives her a drawing as a token of thanks, but Cassie looks very uncomfortable because she always feels that family relationships are not important. This is because Cassie has always felt abandoned by her mother. In short, the next day Cassie and Ben are seen on duty rescuing an accident victim trapped in a car on a bridge. However, when the victim has been successfully rescued, the car suddenly closes, trapping Cassie and causing her to drown. In that situation, Cassie experiences something strange that makes her see a network connecting several events from the past and the future. And suddenly Cassie is already awake because Ben Parker saved her. After that incident, Ben examines Cassie. Although Ben suggests she goes to the hospital, Cassie refuses after seeing her oxygen level has returned to normal at 89. When Ben removes the blood pressure cuff from Cassie's arm, the incident repeats as if time has turned twice at the same moment. Ben offers Cassie to get treatment at the hospital, but Cassie refuses after seeing her oxygen level has returned to normal at 89. In short, Ezekiel, who now has superpowers from the spider, is seen having nightmares about his death at the hands of three spider women, and it turns out that this vision haunts him every night. He thinks about killing them first. In another story, Cassie and her colleague are seen gathering at Ben Parker's house because they are celebrating the pregnancy of Ben's sister-in-law, Mary Parker, who is none other than the mother of Peter Parker, still in the womb. In the Ultimate Universe story, Richard Parker is Ben Parker's younger brother who works as a biologist. Perhaps due to his busy work schedule, Richard entrusted his heavily pregnant wife to his brother Ben. Only a short time later, Cassie and Ben receive a call about an accident that requires them to return to duty. Upon arrival, Cassie experiences strange things again. When they arrive at the accident scene, Cassie sees several miraculous things. She can see the future repeatedly. Her hands are covered in blood while helping a victim who suddenly turns into her colleague. Realizing this, she rushes to her colleague and prevents him from driving. Despite Cassie's continuous insistence not to drive, her colleague rejects it. Suddenly, what she saw in her vision turned out to be a real event in the future. On the other hand, Ezekiel, who has obtained CCTV access from an NSA agent he killed, tries to find out who the person is that killed him in his dream by relying on visualized memories. He can get photos of the three spider women from the future, who are now still teenagers. Back to Cassie, the situation she experiences leads her to get checked by a doctor, but nothing unusual is found in the examination. When she is at home, another strange event happens while she is getting food. Suddenly, a bird crashes into her window, breaking it, but it turns out that this is just a vision of Cassie a few minutes into the future. Although at first, she thinks it won't change anything when she opens the window, the bird flies into her house. In other words, Cassie can change destiny in the future with her abilities. Realizing this, Cassie intends to investigate what is happening to her, and when she is on the train, strange events happen again. Future visions keep recurring. 
In the vision she sees a man who suddenly comes and kills three teenagers on the train. Not long after, the man in her vision suddenly appears and approaches them. Cassie then asks the three teenagers to get off the train. The police suspecting Cassie suddenly come to arrest her, but suddenly Ezekiel, in a Spider-Man-like costume, comes after them. Fortunately, Cassie and the three teenagers manage to escape in a stolen taxi. In short, Cassie takes them into the forest because she thinks it's the safest place from Ezekiel's reach. Since this scene only contains boring conversations about introductions, it will be shortened. The point is the three teenagers are named Anya Corazon, Julia Cornwall, and Maddie Franklin. Although initially Cassie doesn't want to get involved in their affairs, it turns out they all share a common background of broken family relationships. Because of this, Cassie decides to protect them. After that, Julia asked about the masked man who looks like a spider to Cassie. Hearing this, Cassie remembers the spider research conducted by her mother. She then decides to go check the files and asks them to wait until she returns. Upon arriving home, she checks some of her mother's files. As we know, the man chasing the three teenagers is the former bodyguard her mother hired in her research in the Amazon rainforest. On the other hand, since Cassie had yet to arrive, Julia and the others decided to go to a restaurant. Unbeknownst to them, this could invite Ezekiel to find them. At the same time, Cassie, who realized that they had left, could quickly find them all at a restaurant. Not long after, a man in a Spider-Man-like costume came to attack them, but it turned out that it was just Cassie's vision a few minutes ahead. Knowing what was going to happen, Cassie made another plan to save them. And a few moments later, Ezekiel came and attacked them all. In the attack, although Ezekiel managed to inject some venom and restrain Cassie, they all eventually managed to escape from the place. With Ezekiel's identity revealed, Cassie tried to find out through her powers. Her consciousness returned to the restaurant location and met the residual energy of Ezekiel. There, Ezekiel showed his intention to kill the three teenagers because, in the future, these three girls would kill him when they gained spider powers. With the interconnected events, Cassie decided to go to the Amazon forest in Peru and trusted the three girls to Ben Parker. Cassie's purpose in going there was to find answers about her powers and her mother's research. Upon arrival, she had another vision of the event. Then a man approached Cassie, his name was Santiago. The man's full name was Santiago Bernabeu, a name similar to the stadium of the Spanish football club Real Madrid. He was from the Arana tribe who saved and cared for Cassie when she was a baby. In that meeting, Santiago took Cassie to a place where her mother died after giving birth to her. Santiago then told Cassie to make peace with the past and not to think that her mother abandoned her. He also said that with the spider venom he injected into her mother's body before Cassie was born, Cassie had great power that she did not even realize she could wield. Suddenly, Cassie's consciousness was thrown into the cave, connecting her to the multiverse network and seeing the past events that occurred to her mother. The fact was Cassie's mother was ambitious about finding the spider species to cure Cassie's disease because of a genetic disorder that made Cassie unable to survive after birth. After learning all this, Cassie asked Santiago how to stop Ezekiel because her ability to see the future was not enough to stop him. However, Santiago said that Cassie's power to withstand Venom and know the future was only the beginning because if Cassie could master her abilities, she could be in more than one place at the same time. Even with her power, Cassie could have the right to change the future. In another story, Ezekiel and his assistant were tracking the whereabouts of the three girls. At the same time, the three girls were seen at Ben Parker's house with Mary. Suddenly, Mary's water broke, forcing Ben and the others to take her to the hospital. With their departure, Ezekiel finally managed to find them. Meanwhile, Cassie, who had just arrived at Ben's house, had a vision of the event that would happen. Quickly, she then rushed after them in a stolen paramedic vehicle. On the other hand, Ezekiel finally managed to find them. However, just as he was about to throw a bomb at Ben, Cassie came and hit Ezekiel. With enough time, Cassie quickly took the three girls away while Ben Parker continued his journey to the hospital. During their escape, Cassie had a vision of the future about how they could get away. Using her paramedic vehicle, she then asked for help from the NYPD to pick up the victims in an emergency on the roof of a burning fireworks building. With her plan, she intended to trap Ezekiel and burn him in the building. When they reached the rooftop, suddenly, Ezekiel came and blew up the helicopter. In this chaotic scene, Cassie has no other choice but to fight Ezekiel with her psychic powers. She tried to save the troublesome three teenagers. Seeing this, Ezekiel certainly did not remain idle. Finally, Cassie lured Ezekiel onto the collapsing floor of the building from her vision. However, unfortunately, this also caused Cassie to fall into the river along with the debris. Unluckily, her eyes were hit by fireworks. Fortunately, Julia quickly saved her. After the incident, although they survived, the hospital declared Cassie paralyzed and blind. 
However, she remained grateful for having saved the future of the three girls. The scene then showed that Madame Webb's journey with the three spider women in the future would continue. In another story, Ben Parker was seen accompanying Mary, who had given birth to his nephew, and they named the baby Peter Parker. This is, of course, the same Peter Parker from the first Spider-Man film played by Tobey Maguire. The film ends.